Welcome back to Think Create Code. In our last sessions, we introduced the processing programming language, and we saw how it can be used to create basic shapes such as rectangles, circles, and triangles with various colors. We also introduced the concept of an algorithm, which is a sequence of instructions that any program has to follow in order to achieve a task. Today we will be looking at how data is used in code and how we can manipulate shape attributes using program variables. Firstly, let's find out what we mean by attributes. What are they? Attributes are used to describe certain things. As an example, let's think of the categories of data describing a car on a registration paper. We might have categories that store numbers such as the registration number, the number of doors and the year it was made. It will also include words that describe the car, such as the make and model, as well as its color. It might also contain data that has one or two different options, such as whether it is a sedan or a hatchback, or if it is an automatic or a manual car. Organizing the data that we represent in a program can be a difficult task. The types of data make the process of organizing our programs more accessible and more meaningful to us. What qualifies as a data type varies from one programming language to another. In processing, we can store whole numbers as integers. We can use Boolean values to say if something is true or false. We can store characters and words as a string. These are called data types. There are other kinds of data types that you will encounter as you work through this course. We will learn more about them in our next lesson. But why is this useful to us? Well, it's useful because in processing, we can manipulate the shape's appearance using data stored as variables. For example, when looking at the attributes of a shape, we would consider aspects such as its shape, size, and color. Let's consider this shape. How would you describe this shape's attributes? Well, we have the height and the width. We have the shape's color, which is yellow, defined by the fill function. Remember, yellow is obtained by combining red and green. You may have noticed that this shape also looks a little different to the shapes that we have been drawing so far. Did you describe the square as having a thick line or rounded edges? These are some of the attributes that we can use to create interesting shapes.